Kaddish for Naomi Ginsberg, 1894-1956. Strange now to think of you, gone without corsets and eyes, while I walk on the sunny pavement of Greenwich Village, downtown Manhattan, clear winter noon, and I've been up all night talking, talking, reading the Kaddish aloud, listening to Ray Charles Blue shout blind on the phonograph. The rhythm, the rhythm, and your memory in my head three years after, and read Adonias's last triumphant stanzas aloud, wept, realizing how we suffer. My mother had a series of nervous breakdowns from the early 30s on. She was intermittently uh, mentally ill. In the early part of the uh, 20s and 30s, she had nervous breakdowns. Then she had to go to hospitals at different times. And when she'd come back, there would be great welcomes, and she'd be normal, or at least uh, quasi-normal for a couple of years. And then there would be descent into madness. And then it grew worse. Wept, realizing how we suffer and how death is that remedy all singers dream of. Sing, remember, prophesy, as in the Hebrew anthem or the Buddhist book of answers, and my own imagination of a withered leaf at dawn. Like a poem in the dark, escaped back to oblivion. No more to say and nothing to weep for but the beings in the dream trapped in its disappearance. No more to say and nothing to weep for but the beings in the dream trapped in its disappearance, sighing, screaming with it, buying and selling pieces of phantom, worshiping each other, worshiping the God included in it all, longing for inevitability while it lasts, a vision, anything more. Oh, mother, what have I left out? Oh, mother, what have I forgotten? Oh, mother, farewell. Farewell with six dark hairs on the wen of your breast. Farewell with your old dress and a long black beard around the vagina. Farewell with your sagging belly, with your fear of Hitler, with your mouth of bad short stories. With your fingers of rotten mandolins, with your arms of fat Patterson porches with your belly of strikes and smokestacks, with your chin of Trotsky in the Spanish War, with your voice singing for the decaying, overbroken workers. I think it sums up a whole generation's uh, political idealism. That's Naomi's political idealism, the generation of Americans who were immigrants who came here, as Naomi's family did, with the dream of a better life, a better world through America's uh, participation in a great democratic experiment. And Alan in the poem describes what fate, shall we say, met those immigrants coming to America and the disillusionment which led some people like Naomi Ginsburg into madness and the rage of a son who also believed in her utopian dream and was unable to see it come to anything except through his poetry in America at mid-century. That's what I think Kaddish is saying. At one point he speaks of his um, mother being his first teacher and a sense of him, his, his understanding almost coming out of her brain, some link there that she was, uh, he was with her uh, in her, you know, in her suffering and so close to it, of course, as a child. With your eyes, with your eyes of Russia, with your eyes of no money, with your eyes of false China, with your eyes of Aunt Eleanor. With your eyes of starving India, with your eyes pissing in the park, with your eyes of America taking a fall. With your eyes of your failure at the piano, with your eyes of your relatives in California, with your eyes of Maya Rainey dying in an ambulance, with your eyes of Czechoslovakia attacked by robots, with your eyes running naked out of the apartment, screaming into the hall, with your eyes being led away by policemen to an ambulance, with your eyes strapped down on the operating table, with your eyes with the pancreas removed, with your eyes of appendix operation, with your eyes of abortion, with your eyes of ovaries removed, with your eyes of shock. 
with your eyes of shock, with your eyes of lobotomy, with your eyes of divorce, with your eyes of stroke, with your eyes alone, with your eyes, with your eyes, with your death full of flowers. My feelings toward my mother were not dead. And I think our feelings toward uh, our parents, our, our desires, our loves are not dead in anyone. It's all there, a whole world that is just simply not used. It absolves and recognizes and, uh, and uh, gets through such an extraordinary uh, passage, really, such a, such a complex passage of relationship and love and confounding and confusion and despair and loss. With your eyes, with your eyes, with your death full of flowers.